Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise and today we are planning for the month of June in my classic happy planner. So I'd like to list out everything that I know of at the time of prepping my planner. You normally all use a monthly page but I can't find them. I'm in the middle of like decluttering, moving, all that. So I just used a regular sheet of filler paper. So the first thing that I'm going to do is cover up all of the pre-printed holidays and events so that I can use like other stickers to kind of customize them um, on my own. And I also do something different with these lower sections of the boxes. So I have my budget stickers here from Proud Sticker Designs. And let's start with the decorative stickers I'm going to be using. I'm going to use Retro Babe by Live Love Posh. And this sticker is really what kind of got me excited and inspired for the month. So we're just actually gonna start, I think, by putting this right up at the top here. And then let's take one more because we do have a little bit of space down here since we don't have a 31st of June. And this time I'm going to put it right here instead of all the way to the edge. So now we kind of have a color like defined a little bit. So let's take my Bill Dew stickers. Um, again, these are from Proud Sticker Designs. Code Elise 20 will give you a discount and we are going to start with my bills. So. I'm gonna put them right down here. And I love these stickers because I can write the bill, the amount, and then check it off once it's been paid. So I have the 20th, I don't know why I started in a weird way. Um, the 28th. And I'm actually gonna put two down on the 28th, even though one is technically due on the 30th, just in terms of what I have room for with the other ideas that I have for decorating this. And then we have 20th, why am I, I don't know why I'm going backwards on this, the 17th, the 15th, the third, the 22nd, I don't know why I didn't write that in my planner. And then technically I have three bills due on the first. I mentioned this in my budget video. I've already paid them. Um, I'm putting them in here anyway because I don't want to get to a moment mid-June where I'm like, oh my goodness, did I pay my bills? So we're just going to put them all in here anyway. And these are thin enough that you can stack probably even four right there in the spread. So now I know that my bills are covered. Next up, so let me cross those off on my list over here. Um, cross those bills off. And one, okay, so those are set. Now we have some events. So birthdays, I have three, people in my life's birthday on June 4th. So I want to use a sticker. Let's see. I have monthly basics by Calva Plan. And I bet I can grab a pink. Let's look at the purple shade here. Too. Is there no purple? There's got to be purple in here. Pink. It's kind of a bluish. Is possible? It says there are 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm totally missing something. Unless this is considered purple and I'm just seeing it differently because I was comparing it to that purple. This is looking blue to me. I guess this one doesn't have 
I guess this one does not have purple. Okay, so we are just going to use pink. Yeah, let's use pink. Um, I did have a couple of comments last time. I did a monthly because I put a birthday real, I put birthdays really, really big and I didn't um, put other things that maybe were as important as big or other things that maybe are more important as big. So what I'm going to do because I have three birthdays is put three dots here on June 4th so that I can reach out to each of the people. It's two of my uncles. Ironically, the two uncles whose birthdays it is, whose birthdays it are, my two uncles who have a birthday on June 4th are not related. They are, um, they're like each of, my mom has a brother with a June 4th birthday and my dad has a brother with a June 4th birthday. So it's a little bit, a little bit funny. Now let's jump to holidays. So I think I'm going to go with the gray for the holidays, June 28th, June 10th. Juneteenth, I have to figure out for a second because June, June 19th is also my closing day of my house. So I want to include Juneteenth in here, but I also want the, the main thing for me that day is, is really closing on the house. So I think that, hmm, I think I'm going to grab monthly boxes by Mojo Jojo Plans because these also have other sizes. I'm looking for what color? Purple. I don't know that this is really the right. Oh no, it's actually a very close purple because now I should be able to put both closing day and Juneteenth in here. There we go. We can do it that way. That works. All right. Now, additional things happening are my Patreon Zooms. So what color do we go? Let's go for pink. I am not doing well at flipping through sticker books today. I feel like I keep missing. This doesn't really have the pink that I'm looking for. Maybe monthly pastel boxes does. Um... I'm just not meant to find pink. Oh, well, this had pink. Okay, you know what we can do? We can take some smaller boxes because I don't know that I need an entire box for my Zooms. So we can do like pink one here for Patreon. So we have three for the month of June. And then I also have a doctor's appointment on June 23rd. This is my next neurologist um, Botox appointment, which I get Botox treatment for my chronic migraines. So we'll put this over here for that appointment. And what else? Oh, I remember. Well, actually, I want to change this. I don't want to use this color anymore. Ah, hang on. <laughs> okay. Um, June 21st, summer begins, so maybe, maybe we're going to pause on this pink. Here's what I have left. Summer begins, neurologist, summer begins, neurologist appointment and moving. So my, my projected moving date is June 29th. Ah, it's so soon. Okay. But we'll get there. So let's jump back. I'm really sorry that I'm a little bit all over the place today. I can't seem to figure out <laughs> what's going on. I don't not I don't usually struggle this much with my monthly. All right. So what if we do June 23rd for my neurologist appointment? What if we do And then what I can do is take one of these monthly basics appointment sticker and I can write like my doctor's name and then the time down here. Then we take June 21st maybe, 
and this pink sticker for summer beginning. And then I kind of want to go for like a full two boxes here for moving because here's my plan as I'm looking for a white pen. And let me know if this makes sense to you. We've got to find the white pen first. That is going to be key. I also realized we were very like out of frame. All right, take a breath, Elise, slow down. So here's my thought process. I'm hoping to take off work on June 29th and 30th. So just take a long weekend. I'm going to move, like have the movers come and fully leave my current apartment on June 29th. And then I'm just gonna cut this as a corner. And then June 30th, I'll be able to just kind of come back here because I only have my apartment until June 30th. So I can come back here to double check everything. That's crooked. Um, do like another clean, all of that, because I'm trying to figure out the timeline of the day and the movers are gonna come and then I need to go with them or meet them at my new house, which is only 15 minutes away from my apartment. But once that happens, I'm not gonna wanna leave that day and come back here. I feel like I'm gonna wanna do that the next day. And because I don't have the opportunity on a weekend, I don't want to just move on the 30th, move and then come back and clean. It's just going to be really way too like stressful and busy. So the other thing that I'm thinking about, I close on June 19th. I'm not doing much work to the house before moving in, but I want to paint two rooms. So I feel like it's gonna be really tight to try to get the rooms painted in these few days. Friday I can't because I have my neurologist. Theoretically, I could move this weekend and then come back, but that doesn't give me the opportunity. It only gives me a few days to paint. So I feel like this is really my only window in terms of moving. I don't know. I'm a little stressed out about it, but we're, I, I think that this makes the most sense. I just don't love it because I need to take off work for it. Um, and I don't like doing that because it's not really, I mean, I guess it's not bad to use my days off to moving to buy a house, but it's just not my favorite reason to take off work. All right, let's go back to retro, babe. I feel like I have just gotten all over the place in this video gives you a little bit of an idea of what my brain has been like lately. <laughs> so that's, that's what's happening here. Um, I felt like there was a sticker that, oh, this one, Oh, happy day. Now I'm not going to be able to fit it right there, but we can do like, Oh, happy day right over here. What's bugging me about this is I didn't realize until just now that you can see the little notes through this. So I just wanna like gently, you typically have a little bit more give on this side of a monthly divider because the paper is a little bit thicker. So we're gonna cover up the notes. Just let that dry for a second so it doesn't smudge. And then Let's, while that's drying, let's look at what else I want to include in here. So I brought in not this color set, but this one. So I'm looking for, that's a little wrinkled. It's okay, I'll survive. <laughs> I'm looking for some pinks, yellows. I like Let's Roll, I think that's fun. I kind of even want to put it over here, but I feel like it would cover a lot of this. So do we put it up there? I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm like, really? Oh, wait, there's a little, or let's roll. Let's use that. Sometimes I'm like, am I qualified to be doing these, <laughs> these videos? This can even hang out right there. Cute. Then let's go back. Let's take a breath and slow down and grab some of these peace signs, which I think are really cute. And what I can also do with these is just sort of play around a little bit. I don't know what 
Oh wait, we also have flowers. I don't know necessarily if I'm going to have plans this day. It's possible I will. I feel like my schedule changes all the time. But the fun about this is just kind of being able to add in a few little things here and there and before the month starts and then fill out the rest as the month continues like my niece and nephew's games and things like that. All right, so then let's grab another one of these flowers here. And we have some space over here on the left because there's no, there's no date. So is there something else that I can put here? I don't want it to be like a whole mishmash of icons. And I also have the words right here. So I didn't really want to put another word thing there. So what do we put here? Oh, I have an idea. If I go back to monthly basics, oh, I forgot holiday. So I there, there's two holidays. I was looking at, I originally pulled out my Planner Kate stickers because Planner Kate didn't have this holiday. But I also don't see Pride Day on here. So I am going to write it in. Normally I don't write before this all, but it's another holiday on this day. So we're gonna write it in. Okay, there we go, that's better. Now, what was I going to do? I was grabbing monthly basics because I wanted to grab a habit tracker. So I think this isn't quite the right yellow. Let's go back, do we go back to pink? We could go back to pink and I don't even know that I need the word monthly habit tracker here. Just trying to trim this off. But we can bring this in right over here. I feel like that works. It's kind of something I would typically do on the sidebar, but I think that it works over here. I'm feeling like this spread is really empty. Part of it is because I don't actually have that much planned. I just have something really big planned. So I don't want to like just fill things in because I have the space for it because as the month continues, I might, you know, have things that I need to put in the space. So what we could do is kind of have a little bit more fun on the sidebar. So if I take this flower sticker and I don't often use my monthly sidebar so I'm not that worried about covering things up and then we can pl like play with this up here Saturday's gonna get cut off so I need to shift that and trim the excess um, retro babe by the way code Elise 10 the Mojo Jojo Plan stickers, code at least 10. Proud sticker designs, code at least 20. Kelva Plan, I don't have a code, but I do have an affiliate link. In case you were curious as to where to purchase these, I feel like it's always something I just want to let you know because if I don't, then someone might ask um, where things are from and, and how to purchase them. So now let's take another peace sign and maybe we'll just kind of play with that here. And a little bit up here too. I don't know if that's too much yellow right there. I feel like it's a lot of yellow. I don't know that this one was needed. I'll pull that out and let's look back at the quotes one more time. We have oh happy day right there. We have let's roll a little bit right over here and hmm looking at my options. I like be happy, <coughs> excuse me, but I don't want it right here because then we have oh happy day. So I think this just may be the point where <laughs> I stop the video because I don't know what else to put in it, but it's going to be a functional monthly spread for me. It feels very all over the place. Part of it is because all my bills are on one side except for one. And then it just gets a little bit busier over here. I think I want to try to do something different right here. 
this always the point that I get to in my monthly videos? I ripped that flower. Where I'm at the end, but then I decide it's not the end. I feel like that's a common occurrence. What if we bring this in here? And then this habit tracker can actually sit a little bit better in one of these boxes. And it's not just like randomly right in the middle there. I think that worked. All right, and truly style plans have changed. It's been about five days since I filmed this video and a whole bunch of things have changed. So I decided that I'm going to fix it up a bit. All right, it was figured out that, well, a few things were figured out. First of all, my neurologist appointment was listed on the wrong day. So I'm using undo here. This is just going to really help switch things around. My neurologist appointment is on the wrong day. It is actually Monday, not Friday. So that's number one. I didn't give this enough time to reset. Okay, there we go. That's now going to go here. Now, while I knew that my closing date was Juneteenth, I did not know that, and no one figured it out, except for my realtor's wife, um, that the banks were going to be closed. So I think last year was maybe the first year that it became, um, that Juneteenth, be, you know, became a date when banks were closed. So, whoops, things got switched around a little bit. Luckily, the seller is able to close a few days earlier versus a few days later. But I also decided that if I'm now closing this day, I'm not waiting two weeks to move. So... <laughs> Everything has gotten switched around. Um, now we are changing the moving date to June 22nd. Because this way I'll have more time with both places if I move on the 22nd versus moving the 29th and then having to be out of here fully, you know, the next day. So that is the plan. And I was like, all right, I still, you know, have the footage sitting on my computer for this video, even though it's already been, actually it's already been put on YouTube because my patrons have seen this as an early access, but we are going to lift up. Whoops. Come on. Mm. I try to limit the amount of undo that I use, but sometimes if it doesn't soak through enough, you'll get a little ripping. But I guess this will just show how you can change things around in your planner because life changes, right? I don't always make these planner changes when something's different. Usually I'll just like put an arrow or something, but I figured, you know, I posted on Instagram about things changing and it wouldn't make sense to then a few days later put up a YouTube video with a difference again. So we're like, all right, let's take the extra effort and do this. Oh wait, now this is pink and that's pink. That's annoying. Hmm. Do we just deal with it or do I do another box? Also, this is now going to, there we go. I don't love, well, I didn't put this down straight. I will tell you that I had a thought this morning of like, maybe I just redo the whole video. Not like, no, at least you don't need to redo an entire video. That's silly. But I now want to move this. I do have a bill due. So I guess the 22nd, you know what? I'm going to put it over here on the, six, the 19th because I can still pay that bill early, a few days early, but I do want to change this. So what was this? Monthly boxes. Monthly boxes. Okay. Um, let's take the purple instead. I think that one was for the first day of summer. I've not written in this yet because I haven't taken a photo of it yet. So uh, we're going to switch this. Now, here, here's what my schedule or yeah, moving schedule will look like. I will close the 16th. I'll spend the weekend of the 17th and 18th painting. And then 
I'll be off work Monday for Juneteenth and pack, and then I'll move on Thursday. So it's going to be a little bit actually a tighter timeline than it was originally, but I also know myself and I know that I don't want to be like home for two weeks without moving. That's just not something that I want to do. So I think that is a wrap on this video. Thanks for being patient with me as things shifted. I need to put another, we need to fix this because <laughs> there's no 30, but um, sometimes it's good to leave well enough alone, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is one of those situations. So you can shop Retro Babe and Proud Sticker Designs and everything I used here in the description of this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I will see you next time.